What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It's your Earthmaster here on this Monday night, October 3rd, uh, 2022 date. It is about 10.01 p.m. California time. Latest quake on the Earthquake 3D globe shows a 1.9 in the area of the Big Island of Hawaii. Taking a look at the broader view out there around the globe. Uh, shows some movement up there in the North Atlantic Ocean, also down here around the South Sandwich Islands. And some deeper movement earthquakes returning to the Fiji Islands area. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity out here around the flat scale model Earth here, at least as far as the USGS map goes. This is the uh, 2.5 and above for the uh, states. A uh, little bit of activity throughout the morning time frame. I'm going to bring up the all magnitudes here because there's not a whole lot going on as far as 2.5 and above throughout the uh, western states as uh, far as newer activity goes. But uh, looking at the all magnitudes map here shows a little, little bit of activity ramping up here off the west coast. Uh, just on the western side of the plate boundary, we don't see too many earthquakes out here in this area of the... Uh, uh, Pacific Plate um, and there's been a couple just off the San Andreas Fault here on the northern section and also off the coast here um, of the uh, right off the coast of the Half Moon Bay area a couple small earthquakes uh, listed out there movement throughout the Southern California area got one earthquake here within the last hour a little 0.6 not a big earthquake whatsoever but we have seen some uptick in earthquake activity around the San Jacinto Fault Zone. The San Andreas Fault looks pretty calm for right now. Not a whole lot of activity kicking up in or around it. Uh, movement up and down the uh, plate boundary here around the uh, creeping section. Shows some uh, microquake activity. And also into the uh, Nevada area. Getting a swarm of movement throughout the western portion of Nevada. Uh, Northern California, not a whole lot going on. Of course, uh, around Mount Lassen, I kind of want to jump into that real quick. We had seen a little swarm of activity kicking up around the southwestern portion of the Mount Lassen area. Had about 11 earthquakes in the total tally. The largest one was a 2.5 uh, just a couple days ago. Now this just sits to the uh, west, southwest of the uh, peak of Mount Lassen. I did bring up the Mount Lassen uh, uh, Volcanoes uh, Information Center here and everything's still in the green. Uh, a couple seismograph stations there in the vicinity show some very small microquake activity kicking up here in the region of the Mount Lassen area. No major swarms though to report uh, throughout the area. All right, back to the uh, all magnitudes map here. A little bit of activity throughout the Cascades there into the Washington region. No major swarms, though, to take note of in that area. Uh, Yellowstone National Park still seeing some activity in and around the super volcano. Let's go ahead and bring up the latest map here from the Yellowstone Seismograph Overview Station here. Still seeing quite a bit of earthquake activity here. Look, you guys got to look here at these very small, uh, thin lines listed here on this seismograph and those are indeed earthquakes but very small ones and most of these here are below the 2.0 threshold but still an earthquake swarm nonetheless and it has been consisting here of about uh, about a month about four weeks or so of earthquake swarming kicking up around the yellowstone area and uh, according to the usgs that is all in relation to snow melt and groundwater uh, percolation, so to speak, below the ground. Um, it does take a little while to um, get down there and soak up further below the surface, uh, running into some much higher temperatures below the surface, creating a little bit of swelling and some uh, interaction there with the magma below. That's at Yellowstone National Park. Pecos, Texas, some activity out there. Oklahoma as well. Not a whole lot, though, happening. Uh, we are getting a little bit of activity throughout the uh, Puerto Rico area. Uh, although most of this movement here looks like it was from earlier this afternoon time frame. Uh, 0200 
on the 4th of October puts us at about three hours ago for some activity up there around the Puerto Rico Trench and um, a little swarm of activity kind of watching up there today. Down here in the South America region, most of the activity confined up here to the northern part of the South America area. Again, uh, doesn't look like there's too much activity kicking up there in the southern portion around Chile uh, so far. Mauna Loa and uh, looks like Kilauea Volcano kind of rumbling tonight. Of course, Kilauea Volcano continuing its eruptive stage here confined to the crater. We are looking at a couple earthquakes here, 2.8 and 2.7. To the south, well, it's kind of the southeastern portion of the uh, Kilauea Volcano area at about 1.4 uh, kilometers below surface. One of those, at least way down here, is a uh, 5.2 kilometer deep, 2.7. Up here around Mono Loa, this has kind of been an ongoing swarm here, folks. And uh, it's just a matter of time before this thing starts to rumble and really create uh, some of the, uh, some volcanic activity out there on the big island. But uh, looking at the last seven days of activity, we're looking at over 200 earthquakes in the Mauna Loa area volcano. Largest earthquake so far, a 3.5 in the mix. Quite a few threes and twos in there as well. Uh, the latest earthquake though tonight, a uh, 2.0 in this area. Just to the west here, of the Mauna Loa region um, again uh, just kind of observing the activity no major changes though noted at the uh, volcano as far as uh, anything else goes just basically uh, earthquakes warming 4.7 in the Indonesia area and some other earthquake activity around the Philippine plate Japan and also down here around the Fiji Islands area let's go ahead and check out the um, trimmer map tonight here along the uh, Cascadia subduction zone looks like zero it's a little odd although I think this may be an error uh, we've been kicking up quite a bit of, of uh, trimmer activity here along the Cascadia but tonight comes down to zero so I kind of find that hard to believe yesterday we had 583 epicenters here along the Cascadia subduction zone a pretty big uptick and to say that that dropped off to zero uh, kind of, kind of find that hard to believe. So we'll check back maybe tomorrow. Maybe their um, um, their reporting status here is a little bit late for the uh, activity there today. So we'll check back tomorrow. See what they're reporting. It's a government agency. Um, let's see space weather. Let's go ahead and jump into this um, solarham.net website. Pretty uh, cool website to monitor activity. We are looking at a very elevated 35% chance of an X flare. It's been a while since I've seen the X flare potential at 35%. That's a pretty big deal. 75% uh, chance for an M flare, 99% chance for a C flare, and uh, that's like I say, that's that's kind of uh, entertaining and it's kind of uh, exciting at the same time to see a potential of such a uh, uh, for, for an X flare and these are coming from goodness <laughs> every time I look at 3112 up here it's getting a bigger and bigger there's quite a bit of dynamic complex magnetic magnetic field uh, activity going on here with the sunspot it's a huge sunspot and looking at these polarities here of uh, the positive and the negative portions of the field are uh, very close and uh, looking like they are gaining some uh, some uh, possibilities of seeing a, a pretty large X flare here very soon. Uh, also, this sunspot here on the western side of the sun looks pretty complex as well. These two sunspots pose a major threat for X flares. Uh, when it's going to happen, who's to say? I mean, really, who knows? I, I don't have a crystal ball. We can't really. Um, forecast exactly when it's going to happen but we can uh, look at uh, some probabilities and right now a 35 percent chance there is pretty high from 3112 and uh, 3110 those two sunspots keep a check on all right uh, we are expecting it looks like a uh, g2 class storm 
for some reason. Not for sure where exactly it's coming from, but that's what these guys are forecasting. Um, on the October 4th time frame, let's see what we got here. And this is a UTC time, by the way. It is currently October 4th, UTC time of, of about uh, 0510. So we should be in that uh, zone there of the G2 storm, and we're not. But this is what these guys are forecasting here. Um, I'm not for sure exactly where they're getting their probabilities from. But uh, says that overall planetary geomagnetic response is likely to reach G2 storm levels. Um, looks like with a, a CME arrival and uh, subsequent effects. But again, it doesn't look like it. I mean, we're in the green here at about 3. So uh, no major... Uh, noticeable adjustments here as far as G2 storming goes. Uh, there is some amplified conditions up there around Canada as far as the Aurora forecast goes. But uh, again, I don't see any G2 storming conditions currently. So we'll watch that see how it plays out. But uh, man, it's just a good potential of some flaring. X flares popping up pretty soon. I have a, uh, a very strong feeling about it. AR 3110, AR uh, or, uh, 3112, currently trading low level M flares. Both regions appear poised to produce something much stronger, right? Obviously. Uh, AR 3112 in particular should be monitored closely as the active cluster of sunspots continue to rotate into a better Earth facing position. Any eruption around this e uh, region. Could potentially be directed towards Earth. So, are we looking at potentially another Carrington event? Now, all it takes is being at the wrong place at the wrong time. I kind of like to say the right place at the wrong uh, at the right time because me, I'm a, I'm not a fair weather guy. I kind of like activity, and even if uh, you know it's solar, a, a pretty strong solar flare were to hit with a subsequent large CME. Uh, yes, it could affect my life, but I think it would also be pretty exciting to see some auroras down here into Northern California. So, the right place at the right time, or the wrong place at the wrong time, depends on how you look at it, right? It's all subjective to perspective. But bring it on. That's what I say. Bring it on. 3112, is that going to be the number that we're looking at? Either way, a massive sunspot rotating into Earth view. Anything that will be um, produced as far as X-Flare and a large subsequent CME in the coming hours and days will be Earth-directed. Keep that in mind. Current solar weather activity as far as the real-time solar wind stream goes. Uh, getting a little bit of elevated speed conditions. I'm not for sure what's going on here with the density. It looks a little off as far as their chart goes. But uh, I don't see any signs of any G2 storming currently. We will watch that, though, as uh, the night progresses. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Uh, check out Volcano. Uh, the hazard notification system. Oh, goodness. I'm tired again. I am very tired. <laughs> Traveling and air flight will do that to you. What do we got here? So, HVO. Put out a Tau Island volcano notification here. Uh, over the past few weeks, earthquake activity has dramatically decreased and maintained low levels. Uh, the earthquake swarm that began bait, uh, based in uh, July is over. So these guys are officially calling the earthquake swarm over. Um, as a result, the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory is lowering the volcano alert to normal for the American Samoa. How about that, folks? Um. Wow. Okay. Let's let me check out the latest seismograph station there in the um, American Samoa. Look at that. Both green. All right. So uh, as you know, we have been looking at a pretty good earthquake swarm out there around the American Samoa, Tau Island, Manu Islands. Um. And right now, it looks like they're calling an end to the earthquake swarm. Uh, hold on a second here. 
go go over to the seismograph station here and see what we got uh yeah pretty calm look at that not even a peak or a squeak or a pop or anything kicking up there as far as earthquake activity so obviously looking at this map uh i don't see any any earthquake activity but it's been this way here for uh i guess for the past week or so uh, and that would uh, definitely be uh, warranted for a a call for the uh, official notification of the swarming coming to a halt. But as always, we'll continue to monitor it. Still no, uh, still no, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? A reason for all that swarming down there. I mean, we haven't really seen anything or any any rhyme or reason as to why it happened it was a good month or so of uh, some swarming going on beneath the, beneath the, the uh, American Samoa with no subsequent action yet anyway uh, let's see what else we got folks I think that's about it I'm gonna call it um, the live stream is up and running should remain up and running hopefully I uh, did have some issues last night. Uh, the uh, uh, for some for some reason, once I got home, I fired back up the stream around one o'clock in the morning. Well, one thirty or so. I got in kind of late, but uh, fired back up the stream. Mentioned to everyone that I was uh, going to bed, but I got the live stream back up and running. And sure enough, about an hour and a half, two hours later, the the uh, live stream was pulled, uh, and it went down. I still don't know exactly why or how, but uh, it's suspicious, and uh, it's been suspicious every time it happens. But I can't prove, I can't find out exactly who's doing it, but I know it happens. There's no rhyme or reason for it happening. There's no uh, you know explanation, reasonable explanation as to why it's happening. But uh, either way, when it does, hey, the way I see it. It allows me a new YouTube notification to be sent out. So thank you guys. Thank you. Whoever's doing it. Thank you. I don't know who it is, but thanks for, uh, you know, allowing the, uh, the time to send out a new notification every time I fire back up the live stream. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, guys, I'm going to bounce out of here again. Live, uh, stream is up and running current goes x-ray flux map is up there on the top left side of the screen that is monitoring the current solar weather data of course the x-ray flux chart is over uh, on the right side of the upper left side of the screen uh, as far as the um, category goes in the flaring but uh, let's see what have we got here let's see what we got um not a whole lot of folks in there as far as the chat goes. I know it's kind of late. It's about 10 o'clock Western time to 19 and uh, much later across the rest of the country. But uh, Lane, Robert, uh, everyone else out there, all the moderators, I appreciate the help and whatnot uh, here on the channel. So everyone have a good night and we will chat you guys a little bit later on. Peace out, folks.